Below, basic students are struggling with paying attention during the read aloud. One strategy the teacher will use to make the lesson more engaging and to keep the students paying attention better. Um, the teacher will also The teacher will also focus on having the students make one prediction over the entire book. The strategy the teacher will use is to show them the book, The Three Little Pigs. The teacher will say, I know most of us know the story pretty well. Today we are going to be working on making one prediction as a class. Before I read the book, I want us to predict what the wolf what house the wolf will not be able to blow down. Does anyone remember that house? The students will be allowed to answer that question. Then the, then the teacher will ask, um, while I am reading the book, I want you to think about why that house might not be able to be blown down. Let's try to predict some reasons. The teacher will write reasons on the anchor chart um, maybe some of the responses will be the wolf doesn't have enough breath, the house is too strong, or I don't know. The skill that the students will be learning is that by the end of the lesson, the group will have made one prediction and have at least come up with one or two reasons to back up their predictions. The goal will be I can make one prediction during a read aloud and can come up with at least one explanation to my prediction by the end of third quarter. To keep the students more engaged in the lesson, the teacher will also use the app novel effect. This will hopefully keep them more engaged because the app is interactive. This is the anchor chart that the teacher will, teacher will use. Um, the teacher will write their predictions and their because, so their reasoning on the graphic organizer before the read aloud. Okay, the next group of students is the basic, and these students scored basic because they were about in the middle of the range. Um, so all of these students scored basic for making predictions based on how they think that the story will happen in the read aloud. The students will need to be more in-depth about what questions they have based on their predictions in the story. So the skill that the basic students will be working on is students will listen to the story, The Three Little Pigs, and will make at least two to three predictions based on what they think will happen next. The students will answer more in-depth questions based on the clues in the book. The strategy that they will be using is the teacher will project the book onto the smart board using a document camera. The students will have their own copy of the book and a little magnifying glass that they can use to look at the pictures. The students will find one to two clues in the book to help them make predictions and will answer in-depth questions about what they think will happen next. The goal is by the end of their quarter, the students should be able to make at least three predictions using two to three clues using the pictures from the book. This is the proficient group. Um, we're going to be working on making predictions during the read aloud times. The proficient students are struggling with using clues from the pictures and words in the read aloud book. Um, the skill I'd have them use is listen to the read aloud with the whole class called The Three Little Pigs. Then in a small group, the students will listen to the story, the true story of the three little pigs. The students will make predictions before reading the story and during reading the story. After reading the story, the students will reflect on their predictions and use at least two pictures and one word to support their answers. Their goal by the end of the semester is to have the students use two clues and a picture or in a word from the book to make predictions. The strategy would be after reading the title of the book and showing the cover of the book to the students, I will ask them, what do you think about this book is about? The students will make predictions using their prior knowledge from the read aloud, The Three Little Pigs by Paul Galdon. <laughs> During reading the book, after the wolf has eaten his second dinner, I will ask the students, do you think that the wolf is telling the truth in his story? Since we'll respond yes or no, I will do a quick pitch, picture walk of what we have read so far. As I am doing the picture walk, I'll have students find two pictures and one word to support their answer. After reading the whole book, I will ask the students, was your prediction about the book correct? And was the wolf telling the truth in his story? I will have students do a picture walk using the book to find two pictures and one word to support their answers. 
These are my advanced students. <laughs> All my students scored the highest scores. I will have these students move forward. For my skill, I will grow students' skills of comparing and contrasting from the two read-alouds, the three little pigs read aloud on the first day, and the true story of the three little pigs read aloud the second day. For my strategy, I will use a Venn diagram to record students' comparisons and contrasts from the second read-alouds. Sorry, from the two read-alouds. In the article introducing the Venn diagram in the kindergarten classroom, it states to begin with two hoops and two colors of glass, with one ball containing both colors. <laughs> in the picture below, the yellow hoop contrasts from the three little pigs. The blue hoop will be contrast from the true story of the three little pigs. Similarities will be recorded in the green hoop. For the goal, the students will be able to make at least five. Comparisons, contrast from the stories by the end of the third quarter. These are our references that we use for our PowerPoint.